dear learners welcome to the today's presentation the topic of today's presentation is acacia another carbohydrate containing drug and natural uh, pharmaceutical aids after viewing this presentation you will be able to define the biological source of acacia list occurrence and distribution of acacia describe the collection of this particular gum identify physical characters explain chemical constituent and uses and also find chemical tests and adulterations acacia or gum acacia or indian gum or gum arabica is actually a gum obtained from uh, two different uh, plants one is from acacia senegal here you can see the picture and another is acacia uh, arabica and this is the twig uh, portion of the acacia senegal and this is the branch of acacia arabica basically the synonym of this uh, drug uh, this is uh, uh, unorganized drug and gum which is collected from this plant uh, acacia senegal and arabica synonym of this drug is gum acacia indian gum uh, babul gum uh, gum arabica cordofan the biological source of this drug dried uh, gum obtained from the stem and branches of acacia senegal or acacia arabica it belongs to family leguminosae or now the family is known as fabaceae the plant is actually indigenous to africa and some part of uh, asia um, in africa that is uh, available in algeria angola botswana Uh, Egypt, Kenya, Senegal, Somalia, Sudan, Togo, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. So these are the major source of this uh, particular gum from Africa. And uh, in Asia, that is available in Arabian Peninsula, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Yemen. Uh, it is also available in India, Nepal, and Pakistan. the gum is actually collected from stem uh, and branches by transverse incision by using a small axe and made uh, free from the bark and foreign organic matter so here you can see the uh, small incision transverse incision is made uh, on the particular uh, trunk or branch of this particular plant and uh, after incision that stimulate the secretion of this bark um this is secretion of the gum from this particular uh, branch and after collecting the uh, gum in a form of a tear then the next job is made the gum uh, free from uh, bark and other foreign organic matter and then after collecting that should be dried under sun and that helps in the bleaching process of this gum the so physical characters uh, like that the color of the gum is cream brown or red in tr form so here you can see the uh, original crude gum uh, gum uh, in tr form and this one is the powder of this uh, gum which is uh, actually brown or white in color and available in rounded or oval tr form so here you can see the rounded tr form Uh, of this gum this is known as uh, gum acacia or indian gum or uh, babla gum uh, or gum arabica uh, the taste is mucilaginous taste odorless and it is soluble in water and why the uh, when we dissolve the gum in water it will form a solution that solution is acidic in nature chemical constituent major chemical constituent is gum um, gum is composed of the uranic acid and other sugar uh, 
major uh, chemical present in this gum is arabin which is actually a chemical salt of arabic acid the gum on hydrolysis can yield several sugar and acid uh, they can uh, form l ramnose ramnopyranose galactopyranose arabinopyranose aldobaranic acid and the uniqueness of this gum this gum contains oxidase enzyme now come to the chemical taste of this gum uh, basically it shows some uh, positive feeling taste after hydrolysis it uh, with the acid mineral acid it generates the reducing sugar and ultimately it uh, produces red precipitate in, uh, uh, presence of the filling solution the taste is like that to 1 ml solution 0.5 ml hydrochloric acid is added uh, heated for 30 minutes on a water bath and then 1.5 ml sodium hydroxide solutions and filling a and filling b solutions are added and on heating in uh, on water bath it produces red precipitate uh, to the 0.5 percent w by b solution uh, 20 percent w by b uh, lead acetate when added it will not produce any precipitate so no precipitate is produced uh, here on addition of lead acetate and this is the distinction taste from uh, agar and tragacan the third test is when the powder drug is treated with the ruthenium red solutions and observed under microscope no red or pink color is observed and this is the distinction from the agar fourth test is uh, when the gum is dissolved in uh, hydrogen peroxide and uh, when it is treated with uh, benzidine in alcohol uh, it shows deep blue color so basically uh, if you dissolve 0.25 gram of the 5 ml uh, gram of the drug in 5 ml of water by shaking in cold and add 0.5 ml of hydrogen peroxide solution and uh, add 0.5 ml of 1 percent solution of benzidine in alcohol on shaking and standing it shows a uh, blue color which is unstable in uh, unstable in nature and this blue color is produced due to the presence of the oxidase enzyme to uh, another test is uh, 2.1 gram of powdered drug if n by 50 iodine solution is added it will not produce any uh, crimson color and this is uh, the distinction taste from the agar and tragacan so this gum is mainly used as an emulsifying agent suspending agent uh, natural emulsifier it is it is also used as binding agent stabilizer for food uh, demulcent demulcent means that can protect uh, from inflammation uh, it can protect from in, uh, protect the uh, throat from inflammation uh, and relieves the irritation on the of the mucous membrane in the mouth by from forming a protective thin so that is why it is used in cup lozenges and cup drop as demulcent adulterations of this gum is gum ghatti uh, repeat gum ghatti uh, which is uh, obtained from the anogeisas latifolia it belongs to family combretesi so it's all about the uh, gum acacia Thank you and happy learning.